And if the lightning keeps changing, the way window is open and it is really really warm today, so I need to have the window open. And it is very windy, so if it is loud, that's why. And cuts. Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to do an update for my Mission 100% Cruelty Free for Japan. This is started by Sarah, and Sarah is amazing if you haven't checked her out already. She does really nice videos, and I really, really enjoy them. She is really good at uh, formulating herself, is it called that? She created this and invited a lot of people, or a lot of ladies, to the for Japan, and she based it on her idea of going 100% cruelty free because that is her journey and she is kind of ending this project when she is 100% cruelty free and I thought that was a great idea because I actually already have thought about doing a project that was similar to this and um, so I was totally in and I am going to stop this project when I am 100% cruelty free as well. For the intro I was 85% cruelty free which is really really good. I already have done a video where I show you my non cruelty free collection and kind of how many items and what items I need to go through to be cruelty free 100%. It is a journey, it is a long journey and I, I have had kind of fun actually uh, replacing my items um, for the no for the cruelty free version. It has been really hard about primer because my skin is very sensitive and I break out from anything really. Well, I don't have any non cruelty free primers in my collection anymore. Spoiler alert for the empty that I have for this project. We started this project at the beginning of June, so June 6th I believe, and we decided on bi-weekly, bi-monthly updates. Get your shit together, Elizabeth. <laughs> and we are going to work on five products at a time. And every time you finish an item, you roll one in. Hint, the never-ending project pan. <laughs> I have added in a, a hair care product for this update. So that is not in my 85%. I'm sure it is going to be lower or higher if I add in my uh, body hair care and skincare and stuff like that. It was really hard to find something that wasn't cruelty free actually, so I think I'm doing okay with the replacing stuff. So yeah, when you finish five items for this project, you can kind of reset it every, all your products if you want to. Like if you have a, a bronzer that you have worked on for like a year or something and you want to switch it out, you can when you have finished up five products. I hope that makes sense and I have been here for way too long for the intro so let me show you the progress, the empty and just my products in general. My empty for this update is my primer. It is kind of no surprise and the marking is kind of off but this is the Max Factor Face Finity All Day Primer. You would know I have finished this if you saw my empties for July but I have rambled on for the with this primer for most of July. June maybe also. This is an amazing primer and I'm so sad that I can't buy it again, but Rebecca Morgan, she sent the CoverGirl version of this and I am testing it out and it is lasting so well, so I kind of hint or maybe spoiler for the video that I want to, where I want to compare them. It is very similar, <laughs> so I'm extremely happy about the new primer, but this is empty. I have scraped it all out as you can see. It comes with a pump, it is amazing. The CoverGirl one is a squeezy tube, so yeah. This is done and I have a replacement for that. And as I said in the intro, that is going to be a hair care product. This is the Swarovskov uh, Glitch Hair, hair Repair uh, Hair Mask. <laughs> there it was. It is a one minute intense uh, mask. It is this one if you know Swarovskov. Swatchup is of course not cruelty free and that is sad because this hair mask is actually really really nice. I don't have a lot left. There is some air in it as you can see but I am about here so I will mark it afterwards. It is a little bit wet because I used it yesterday I think it was. Um, yeah, yesterday. So I am down to there and I'm I'm already going to squeeze it out. So. I'm pretty sure I can have this done by the next update, which is in two months, and then I can roll in another product. The next four products 
Mm, yeah, you, you can discuss how great I am doing. Let me just take this one. This is the Maybelline B Pure BB Mineral BB Cream. Something. I bought this in Japan. It is a beautiful BB cream. I have mixed it a few times with something lighter and both times it was too dark for me. Now that I have gotten some color on vacation, maybe this is matching me because the foundation I am using is actually a little bit light to me or for, for me. Well, English. Maybe here or something for the next part of the writing there. I can't see through it, so you know, I, I need to guess a little bit. And there's air in it, so that's also why. This one, um, hmm. yeah, this is the color to buy Maybelline in Creme de Nude. You know these, if you're a long time watcher of YouTube, these were so hyped and it is really good, it's not bad. Um, it's just a little bit dark. I'm really, really pale. And this is really dark yellow. Um, you can see wear on it. You couldn't last time. So let me show you that. And I will have pictures in, of course. But yeah, you wouldn't say it is like a dip yet, but you can definitely tell that I am using it. I'm really trying to get my NYX Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil in Milk out of the way. And I can't work on both and do nice progress. Then we have the two items that I am marking on my sticky note here. And the first one is my Yves Rosier Raspberry Lip Balm. And this is a tinted one. And as you can see, it is way smaller than in the intro, which is exciting. So I made some nice progress. I am wearing this one time a day at least. And that is in the morning time when I do my makeup. Two months of that use is not really great. I need to be better at the makeup part, but me not having a job is not really motivating in the morning time to put on my face, you know? And the last item is a lipstick from Maybelline. It is the one I, I have on today on top of a lip liner. It is the Maybelline's Color Sensational Intensalizing Taupe. This is all I have left. It is a beautiful nude color. I took this with me on vacation, which is how much I've used on vacation because I was not really good at using it before. That is the progress for like one or two weeks, one and a half maybe only. Not great, but it is getting used and I really, really love it. So maybe it is going to be my go-to nude combo. Well, it is, but for every day, you know. I think it's really wearable and on its own, it's really beautiful you know, without the lip liner. The lip liner just darkens it a little bit, so it's just, it's not going to be stuck nude, you know? That is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. You should definitely check out the other ladies down below. You would definitely enjoy them if you love my content, at least. Um, <laughs> so yeah, I hope you guys are going to stick around. It would mean the world to me. And yeah, until my next video, please take care.